All right, so first up on our predicting the products type of questions involves these two reactants. I have C2H4 being added to oxygen gas. So at first glance, I think this looks like a single replacement TL, but um, when you start to think harder about these two particular reactants, you might realize this thing is a hydrocarbon. So a hydrocarbon means you have a formula that is made up of hydrogens and carbons. And whenever you have a hydrocarbon being added to oxygen, you form the same exact products every single time. Carbon dioxide plus water. Now, it doesn't matter which order you put them in. So if you decided to write H2O plus CO2, that's okay too. But what I want, but what I want you to recognize is that anytime you have that hydrocarbon being added to oxygen, you have the products of carbon dioxide and water. Now, if I asked you to balance this equation, that would mean um, you would need to take this one step further. So let me just rewrite my skeletal equation, which is my unbalanced equation. And let me show you how I might go about balancing it. What I like to do, one of the methods I like to use is listing the elements under the arrow so I can list down the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Then I like to take an initial count of how many atoms there are on each side of the arrow. So on the left side, on the reactant side, there are two carbons, there are four hydrogens, and there are two oxygens. On my product side, I see one carbon, two hydrogens, and two plus one oxygen. That would be three oxygen. Now, something I like to do, this is just per personal preference. I like to put a little star next to my element that pops up in two or more different compounds because that just tells me that I need to pay close attention to counting up my atoms. I don't want to miss anything. I'm just going to change colors here so that you can see the process of balancing the equation a little bit clear. Now, when I balance equations, I like to focus on one element at a time. I like to just focus on um, the easiest element, so I'm definitely not going to touch oxygen until the end, but let me focus on carbon. If I put a coefficient here to make the carbons two on each side, because I want them to be the same, carbon gets balanced out. So I have two atoms of carbon on the right side, but this two is also going to affect the oxygen total. So I now have four oxygens, but my star reminds me to don't forget to uh, count up this oxygen as well. So I have a total of five oxygens. I notice also that my hydrogens are not balanced. So I need my hydrogens to balance out. I need to put a coefficient here that anytime my hydrogen is multiplied by two, it will give me four. So I'll put a two and that gives me four hydrogens. Not only that, putting a two coefficient is going to affect my oxygen. So I've had four oxygens over here. I have two more here. That gives me a total of six oxygens. The only element at this point that is not balanced out is oxygen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coefficient here. And whatever coefficient I put when it is multiplied by two should give me six. That coefficient would be three. Three times two is six. And now my atom count here on the bottom tells me that all of my elements are balanced out and I have coefficients of one, three, two, and two. So this is the balancing part. If I just asked you to predict the products, I'd be okay with you just showing me this. But if I asked you to balance the equation, this is what I'm looking for.